Hello, I'm Jeff Ridley. I work at the Met Office Hadley Centre and I'm going to talk to you about ice sheets and their contribution to global sea level rise. Now, the ice sheets I'll talk about are those of Greenland and West Antarctic. Ice sheets in general are dome-shaped and high in the middle and at the edge they, they flow down, the ice at the middle flows down towards the coast and ent enters the ocean as glaciers. In winter, snow falls in the ice sheet and the, the mass of ice increases, but in summer the ice melts. So the, the net change in the ice sheet de defines the mass balance. Now if more melts in summer, then the mass balance becomes negative and the ice sheet loses mass. That means the oceans gain mass and sea level rises. But if the ice sheet loses mass, then the, the height of the ice sheet will slowly decline because ice flows from the centre to the edges all the time. And once the ice sheet is declining in height, then it goes into warmer air and more will melt and it will decline faster. This means that the ice sheet has become irreversibly in decline. Now, even if the climate stabilises, it will still melt away to nothing. Ocean temperatures can also affect the retreat of the ice sheets. As the ocean temperatures warm, the glaciers which flow directly into the ocean can be influenced by the, the ocean itself. The ocean melts the glaciers underneath and they tend to flow faster, draining more ice from the ice sheets into the ocean. Now, in Greenland, the ice streams, the glaciers, which drain the ice sheet into the ocean, can retreat and they can, will eventually no longer be in the ocean. And so they, they stop speeding up. They slow down again. But in Antar West Antarctic ice sheet, the ice sheet is all underneath water. Therefore, the glaciers can never rise above sea level and will always retreat. So, there is a potential that the entire West Antarctic ice sheet, 3.3 metres of sea level rise equivalent, will drain away and float off into the ocean. When we try and model the future of the, the ice sheets, we need to be able to simulate both the, the melting on the surface and the effect of the ocean on the um, speeding up of the glaciers. But the mechanisms about the glaciers speeding up are still poorly known and so this leads to great uncertainty in how the ice sheets will behave in the future. Particularly true of West Antarctic ice sheet where, where the, the glaciers speeding up are the key mechanism for, for causing the ice sheet decline.